In this video, we'll go over how to use Inspect Element to customize your list layout in any way you want. And we'll go over some extra tips and repair a couple user layouts with it. Now, before getting into this tutorial, you should already know how to install a layout and change backgrounds through your CSS code. I've already released videos on how to do these things and they are linked under this video. So let's say I wanted to customize specific parts of this basic list layout. First thing to do is to copy the URL for your list page and open up the Firefox browser. This is the easiest browser to customize the list on. If you have to download Firefox, I've linked that under the video. So paste your anime list URL into Firefox and open it up. Then right click the list background to open up the inspect element tool. From here, use the tool on the upper left near inspector and select then click on any specific part of your list on screen which you want to change. It will highlight parts of your layout and you can see what they are in the HTML on the left side of the tool and you can edit the CSS codes currently customizing that section on the right side of the tool and the edits will happen live on your layout. As you can see here, I'm adding some background color changing codes, and I'll also change the pre-existing height and font family code. After making the changes you want, you can copy the CSS you changed and then add that to your actual CSS under list style or you can add it to Notepad for safekeeping too or to share with other users. Using Inspect Element will also give you the selector names of the parts of your layout near the cursor as I've outlined here. If you're making an original layout, you might need to type out the selectors found near the cursor and add them to your CSS edit box since they don't always show up below in the tool on the right or the left. And as you saw earlier, you can edit pre-existing property codes or even add new codes if you want. If the tool doesn't seem to be selecting the exact portion you want, get close as you can to it with the inspect tool and then use the HTML on the left side to search for sections and you can also use the CSS on the right inside of the tool. You can add any changes you made to your CSS edit box on my anime list and then save it and refresh your list page to see the changes you made and customize your whole list this way into an entirely new layout. In inspect element you can also access the actual CSS file through sources here and then make edits to the original CSS and see the changes on your list and then from there you can copy those changes to your CSS as well. This will also let you view and take any other user's CSS directly from the source. Here I'll remove the gray from my layout through the source code, which I added earlier, and add a new font. And then I'll copy this entirely new edited layout and replace my CSS on my anime list with that.
So with this knowledge, you can customize any layout live, change any of the codes for it, and learn what the codes are for certain parts of a layout. Now here's some additional tips. If you find your property codes aren't working when you feel they should, try adding explanation point important at the end as I do here. Sometimes that overrides codes to let your changes take effect. And if you still can't find the selector name for a certain section with inspect element, you can install our fully mapped layouts and use the colors to guide you to the name or area of a specific section. As you can see here, I was able to find the selector for the now lime color button that I was looking for, and I can customize it by moving it to a new spot with position codes. When making an original layout, a lot of layout designers, including myself, start with these colored layouts so that we can easily modify at any part of the list and find the name for it quickly and also keep track of each section since it's separated by colors. And then when you're done, you remove all of the color codes. You can get more CSS codes from the W3Schools website, and they have live examples. You can also look through the list of codes that comes up by default when you press down when making a new code in the tool. I'd also recommend editing someone else's layout to learn from and find out how to use the new codes. You just have to install their pre-made layout and mess around with their codes through inspect element, and you might learn new things for your layout, or you can edit their layout how you want and make an entirely new one. Here's some examples I have recorded of myself using inspect element to fix other people's layouts and answer their questions. So this person simply wants to make the pick on the right taller. The first thing we know to do is to start up inspect element and then click the upper left tool and we click on the pick that they want to make taller. First, I'll try to increase max height and as you can see, it did nothing. Now I'll try to add our own height code and it raises the height for the frame, but not the picture. So what I do is I go to the HTML on the left side in the tool, and look under that section, and there's a new section with the pick for me to click on. So this could be the CSS we want to edit. And by increasing the height, we can see it does make the pick taller as the club member wanted. So now all we have to do is copy these codes and give them to the person who asked so that they can increase the picture size on their own by adding those codes to their CSS. The next person whose layout will fix has an issue with the GIFs being too large and also the preview picks moving up too high. So we'll fix the preview picks issue and also give them a way to make the GIFs smaller. So here's their layout and as you can see the preview picks and completed text are too high up and the GIF is too big, which lowers its quality. So first thing we do is we access inspect element and find the section that contains the preview pics. So it looks like this is list table under the preview pics and I'll lower it with top codes. Now top code isn't working, so I'll add position relative, which sometimes helps with top and left codes to get them working. And now it is working, and I need to lower the section some more. So now I copy the code so I can give it to the user later. Now we also want to lower this text too, and we'll do it the same way by clicking on it with inspect element, and then lowering it with the top codes in the CSS. But unfortunately, as we can see, it also lowers this part, which we didn't want. So now I know our first code is causing this error, so we want to find another code to lower the preview picks with. And looking through the HTML on the left, I can see there's a section list item for the preview picks as well. There's actually many codes that can affect the preview picks, and I can use this one to lower the preview picks instead of the code we tried earlier. And as we can see, when using this section, it doesn't cause the error we saw earlier. 
So we're going to use this one instead to lower the preview pics. So we put these codes into Notepad along with the code to lower the text, and later on we'll give these to the user who asked about it. Now that user also wanted the banner GIFs to be a smaller size. We can also use the style editor to go to the layout code itself and then find the sections with the image codes. But first we're going to copy and paste the codes we intend to give them to make sure they work when the user tries them out. And they do work. Now the banner codes are also in the CSS and we could edit them here in the source code as well. I'll add background size codes with important at the end along with background position codes. We'll give all these codes to the club member when we're done who asked about it to give them the ability to pick the size of the banner and also move the preview picks out of the way if they don't want to lower the size of the banner later.